Hello, welcome everybody. It's so good to be back for another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday, finally, right? I know, I feel like two weeks off was such a long time. Uh, we had an amazing trip though. So I wanna start first of all by saying thank you to each and every one of you as friends, as customers, as part of our Inkspired Stampers team. Thank you for helping me um, allowing me to be able to go on such an amazing trip with my kids. We had an absolutely fabulous time. I see some people popping on and waiting for names to start showing up so I can say hi. It's kind of weird. Um, and I have to tell you, hey, Tammy, how are you doing? Yay, I'm so glad you can join us. So I'm sure it's hot where you guys are too. I li We live in like an over a hundred year old house, so there is no air conditioning. We have air conditioning in bedrooms, but that is it. So I'm like, okay, I gotta get, I've got like my little um, sundress on. I'm trying to just like not pay attention to how hot it is. And um, hopefully I won't be sweating by the time Facebook Live is over. <laughs> I even brought, I'm like, oh, maybe I should have a towel just in case. <laughs> Hopefully I don't need that though. So yeah, so the trip was just, it was one of those truly like a trip of a lifetime. Although I have to tell you, I wanna go back. I wanna go back to every single place that we went. I wanna go back again. We spent <clears throat> three days in Rome. Uh, hey Patty, hey Wendy, how are you guys doing? Hey Nancy, oh my gosh, yay, so good to see everybody. Bonnie, hello. Um, yeah, so we spent three days in Rome. So that was the most uh, time that we spent anywhere. So we felt like we really got to know Rome super walkable city um although it's funny like the heat around here now it's kind of what it was like the whole trip so it was just a hot 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 time the whole time we were away um so i don't want to say it maybe put a little bit of a damper on things because you're walking and you're so hot everywhere so there was a lot of like stopping although one of the best things about rome is they have um <clears throat> They're like drinking fountains. Hey, Sandy, I'm talking about the trip. How are you doing? It was so good to see you on the cruise. Um, but yeah, so in Rome, they have like these public like water, like drinking fountains. And it's it can be like just on the, the corner of a couple of streets, you know, and there's just like the spigot and then the water coming out. Or sometimes it's larger fountains that are kind of, you know, big features. Um, <laughs> you're so cute, Sandy. You're beautiful too. Thank you. Very, very sweet. Um, but that I wasn't sure. I'm like, can you drink the water in Rome? But we did a walking tour the first day that we were there. So our guide kind of toured us all around Rome and told us about, you know, these this water system. I think it's like thousands of years old and then obviously updated and maintained. But that was the one thing that, you know, way back in time, they wanted everyone to have good, clean drinking water. So wherever we went in, in Rome, we would run into a drinking fountain and maybe your water bottle was half full with like lukewarm water. You just pour that out and get some fresh water. And it's like a constantly, like the water is always running so they were like you might as well use it it's just it's not going to get wasted but it's just the constant flow your water that you dump out goes back in the system and is cleaned and used so anyway that we were so spoiled so when we went to venice we were looking for like like the water fountains like that like maybe they have those there too and they really didn't so yeah, there was a lot of, we probably spent more money on water <laughs> than we did on anything else just because it was so hot. But Venice was amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the pictures too. Uh, we, that was a fabulous trip, although it was super hot there too. So we spent a lot of time like on the water taxis, the, I think they were called the Vaporetto. Um, we had so much fun on those just because it was right on the water and you could like kind of zip all through like the, the Grand Canal and the other canals. So see lots of Venice like from the water and then get the breeze and you felt like you were on the water. So yeah, we did a lot of riding of <laughs> the water taxi. We tried to do some walking and, and like I said, just so hot. So I would say um, go to Rome, go to Venice. Greece was amazing too. Those places you just got like little tidbits like you know the ship would dock in the morning and you'd have you know a good part of the day but not nearly enough time to really explore and get to know hey Ellen how are you um, so I there were a couple of our first two stops in Santorini and in Mykonos the little towns that we went to were so cute and it's like it just makes me hey Nikki um, makes me want to go back I want to see and explore more because we just got a little taste um, so yeah I would love that's the next trip of a lifetime is spend a few days on a couple of different islands in Greece. Uh, so there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember. So anyway, but yeah, I'm just like, whoa, just so...
much fun and I loved you know it's funny because so many people were like what a great experience you know spend that time with your kids and absolutely um, I think they will appreciate it even more the older they get they totally enjoyed it but it's funny how you know at that age they want to be around their friends too so they kind of miss the social media because they didn't have their phones so they were pretty well disconnected um, I had service on my phone sometimes but not all the time so we all kind of disconnected which was really really nice hey sandra i know i'm back home thank you i'm glad to be back too although seriously like dreaming of going back again i i would highly recommend any of those places to oh that's what i was gonna say don't go in july though it's way too hot in july go they were saying like may is a great time or maybe like september or october um yeah that was the only thing was like it was just so darn hot um but still beautiful and had a fabulous trip so thank you guys every single one of you for supporting and helping make that uh, dream trip a reality i really really appreciate that so thank you um okay so let's kind of jump right in i've got lots of stuff to share with you guys i might even it's funny because i'm looking through my list and i'm like ah um, I have class at one o'clock too, so I have to be done for sure and hopefully sooner than that, obviously. I try to keep it to about an hour, these Facebook Lives. So if I don't get to show you everything this Friday, I'll show you more next Friday. So <laughs> how tan I look? Yeah, I don't know. Um, we did, yeah, we had some time in the sun for sure. Um, I think it's because I don't have any clothes on. <laughs> Honestly, usually I'm more covered up, but it's too hot, Sandra. It's way too hot in here. Uh, so yeah, this is this is what we got going today. Um, let's see, so quick reminders, if you guys haven't taken advantage, bonus days are still going on for the rest of July. And you guys know what bonus days are, right? Right, right, right? So if you spend $50, you get a $5 coupon that you can use for an order in August. Make sure you have a good email address on file when you put your online order in, or if you order through me, whatever I have on your customer profile, just make sure that that's the email address that you use regularly, because that's where the um, that bonus day coupon gets mailed or emailed to, okay? And then keep track of that, keep it in a special folder, um, so that then you can pull it back out and reference it to use it for your order in August. So yeah, all month long. And if you spend $50, you get one bonus day coupon. If you spend $100, you get two bonus day coupons and so on. Um, and that applies to demonstrators too, 60 degrees. Oh, Sandra, yeah. Well, you must have sent the heat from a few days ago because it's, oh, huh. it's like 90 here and then, and then some, I think. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, okay, I want to say a quick, um, I was kind of, like I said, been a little bit out of touch. So I was just looking at our Inspired Stampers group and we had a couple of promotions. So I have to say congratulations to Miss Wendy. If you're paying, if, if you're on here, I know you popped down earlier, hopefully you're still hearing. But so Miss Wendy Drowley promoted to Bronze Elite this month, I think while I was away, all these things kind of snuck up on me. And then another friend, Kathy Miles, who just got the starter kit very recently, has already promoted to Bronze Elite. So both of these gals get a $50 shopping spree from me and then even better they get another five percent off of all of their orders that they put in so generally when you get the starter kit you get 20 percent off of your orders when you get to bronze elite which is eighteen hundred dollars in rolling sales then you get 25 percent off of all your orders so it's like um another, it's a pay raise basically if you sell things then you're going to earn some additional income or if you're buying for yourself which we all are you get a bigger discount on your orders so congratulations wendy and kathy and then Kathy, because she did um, promote so quickly to Bronze Elite, she actually gets a bunch of flex points from Stampin' Up because she um, qualified for the Quick Start program, which essentially she gets a whole bunch of extra flex points that then she can use to get even more free product or go to um, Stampin' Up! on stage conventions or get cute logo merchandise, or you can accumulate a bunch of points and earn a trip. The next one that we're working on is a trip to Maui. And they announced the one, so just so everybody knows, right, the next trip that we'll be working to earn that'll start in October and run through next September 30th, um, that trip is an Eastern Caribbean cruise on like probably one of the most, like the truly, I guess, the largest ship that Royal Caribbean has. We went on one a few years ago that was like the second or third largest that was absolutely amazing. So this one 
is going to be that and, and even more, I guess. So it's going to be a fabulous ship, lots of great entertainment on there, um, and then some fun stops in the Caribbean, too. So they just keep teasing us, adding, you know, well, you need the next trip, you need the next trip. <laughs> They're so fun, and they spoil you. I'm gonna, I've got, like, I don't know if you can see, but I have my chair is full of um, everything that we got on the, on the cruise. So I'm going to show you guys that in just a few minutes. So... Ah, uh, oh, being pulled into a meeting. Yeah, watch on replay. Oh, this work stuff. Yeah, it does get in the way, doesn't it, Nikki? But be careful. I, I want you to keep your job too, right? <laughs> That's very important. This you can watch at any time later, right? So, um, so I, with all of um, those promotions, it made me think another thing to think about is if you're interested um so the annual catalog we've had for a little while but maybe you haven't gotten everything you wanted out of that and then the holiday catalog we got a copy of that um, on the cruise anyway if you are feeling like you want just a ton of stampin up product get the starter kit it's an awesome deal so right now and actually it's two months long which is unusual usually they'll only do it like about a month in the summer so for the rest of july and all of august if you think you just want a ton of stampin up product um the starter kit you pick 155 dollars in product and you pay only $99 plus sales tax. That shipping fee is waived, which is awesome because that's another normal 10% on your order. Um, and you pay, did I say this? You pay only $99 plus tax. I think I did, right? Pick $155 in product, pay only $99 plus sales tax. Um, what else do you need to know? Oh, then the other thing, you get a $10 coupon that you can use the following month. So if you buy the starter kit in July, you can use that um, coupon on an order in August. If you buy the starter kit in August, then that $10 coupon you can use in September, right? So it's just an awesome, like, why would you not do that? Because then you get 20% off of all of your orders after that. If you have any questions at all about this, please let me know. Um, but like truly, it's like kind of a no-brainer. Um, so yeah, I mean, but like I said, if you have questions, if you want to talk to other people that are in the Inkspired Stampers group, if you go to gatheringinspiration.com, there's a like, um, become a member of the Inkspired Stampers group. You can click on that link and see all the great benefits of joining our, our team, our group, all the fun that we have. Um, so yeah, I'd love for you to do that. And then I always love to reward you as you move along in um, your promotions as well. So Stampin' Up! does great things for you and I try to do great things to congratulate you as well. So, um, okay, let's do our first drawing. If you remember way back when, two weeks ago, I had announced we were gonna give away that Seaside Spray, the Scalloped Linen Ribbon. Oh, okay, I gotta, I should have just worn my hair up. <laughs> it's hot, okay, here we go. I'm just forgetting about that. Okay, so uh, names are in here. Just so everybody remembers, or if you're new to Facebook Live, you get one entry for commenting on Facebook Live anytime between now and next Thursday night. You get three entries if you share the video and three entries if you tag a friend saying, hey, check out Amy's Facebook Live. Um, if you're new to me and you sign up for me, my email list, you get three entries. And then the random day that I picked was Thursday. So the past two Thursdays, if I posted anything or if you posted anything um, that you've made or um, you know some tidbit that you wanna share with everybody, you get three entries in the drawing um, for those that Thursday. Um, commenting, sharing, and making your own posts. Three more entries. So tons and tons of entries in here because it's been a little while, right? So. The winner receives that Seaside Spray Scalloped Linen Ribbon, and that goes to ah, Miss Sharon Greening. Okay, I think Sharon's one of those people that always tells me, Amy, you can't even see it. There's, there's a point where there, there it is. So Sharon, winner of the ribbon. I will have this for you down at the studio, Miss Sharon. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, Let's scoot this out of the way. So you guys wanna see this week, oh, I should have pulled the one over that I have. Actually, I do have it open over here. So I'll show you this one. This week, we are going to give away, cause it's so pretty and we're using it on a project that I'm gonna demonstrate in a little bit. Can you guys see the scalloped, maybe if I go this way, the scalloped linen, no, this is not, what is this called? 
That was the last one, the scalloped lace trim. That's what this is, the very vanilla scalloped lace trim. So this is what we're gonna give away, a full bolt, not the one that I've used, uh, next Friday on Facebook Live. So comments, shares, tag a friend, post projects, all get your entries into the drawing, okay? Um, what else do I wanna tell you guys about? Oh, real quick, I wanna just remind you, today is the last day to RSVP for the Dino Roar class to go so i won't go through all the options but i know the link is posted on our facebook group so if you are interested in getting the cards these you're going to make two of each of these super aren't they they're just like the cutest little cards ever so you're going to make eight cards you get all the parts and pieces um, it features the dino days stamp set so make sure um, pick an option that includes that stamp set if you don't have it already. The dino dies, because they're so cute. They're a little bit of a mess, but those cut out everything in there. You also get a package. Hello, Sherilyn, how are you doing? You get a package of, what are these called? The dino roar enamel shapes and a bolt of that um, denim. It's a denim ribbon. If you pick option number one, you actually get the ribbon for free too. Oh, plus you get a pack, a half a pack of the Dino Roar, right? Yep, Dino Roar Designer Series paper. Super cute, fun, bright. Uh, it's funny because, you know, people are like, oh, I don't have kids that I would give these to. Honestly, these cards are so cute. I would love to get one of these cards myself. So I think it's for kids, but it's also for those that are young at heart as well. So keep that in mind. So like I said, a couple of different options. Um, I'll have those, the links all posted. You can pay right through PayPal, super quick and easy. If you just want the PDF, that option is always available even after today's deadline passes, okay? All righty. So let me scoot these guys out of the way. Um, so let me do, I'm gonna do the other drawing. Um, and actually, I have to tell you guys, I don't know um, what happened, my cruising special, wasn't quite as big of a hit as I was hoping it would be. So I actually only had one online order during that time. So Miss Diana Boone, you get to pick. I don't even have to draw your name because you're the only one that put the online order in. So you get to pick from one of those three awesome prizes, which are um, the Sweetly Swirled stamp set. You can see that along with the Noble Peacock Rhinestones, so pretty rhinestones. So Sweetly Swirled Stamp Set and the um, Noble Peacock Rhinestones. That's option number one. Option number two is the Over the Moon Stamp Set and then the Crumb Cake Blends. So that's option number two. And then Miss Diana, option number three is the Beautiful Friendship Stamp Set and then a full bolt of that crushed curry. It's like a crinkled seam binding ribbon. So option number three. You also are gonna get 10 free handmade cards for me and a free embellishment. So cash in big time there. Um, so congratulations and thank you for your order. So this week now, uh, for an online order, you're gonna get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little bit. If you put an order in over $50, you also get the free embellishment. And with actually just a $30 order, you get the two cards and your name is gonna go in the drawing to get the Brights. This is the six by six designer series paper, the Brights pack. I'm gonna open that up for you guys so you can kind of see it. Cause the colors are all so pretty, I love the brights right let me spread that out a little bit so the brights designer series paper pack right so it comes in four different patterns two on each side front and back right okay uh i'm like oh i have to stand back here a little bit further so they can't see the tackiness on my forehead oh my goodness okay so that's next week we'll be drawing for that okay um, so you guys want to see, I, it's funny because I feel kind of funny, like showing everything that we got from the cruise. I don't know. I, it's like, I feel like I'm kind of bragging or something, but so many people were like, we can't wait to see what you got on the cruise. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to show you guys. So bear with me. This is, well, I shouldn't say bear with me because this is so fun. You guys are going to get sneak peeks at a bunch of new holiday catalog stuff too. So let me, quick sip of water here. I'm going to scoot out of the, mm. okay, there. All right. So. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is because my kids all got something too. 
Um, that's what's fun. Anybody under 18, they give like a little gift to the kids also. Hello, Debbie. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that. So we got this awesome, and this logo has been so watching from Michigan. Yay. Remind me, Debbie, where you are, because I'm in Alma, so maybe you're not too far from me. Um, so this bag, I love. It's one of those, you know, it's got the like cinchy things on the back, so you, you kind of like a little backpack kind of a thing, but it's like a sturdier version of that but it's got the fun greek aisles you can put your water bottle in there a smaller thing there so did it's funny now i'm like did we get two of those where did the other one go i don't know i can't say where the other one went because we got two of everything because i brought two kids um and then <laughs> these are kind of fun we got some stampin up sunglasses too so they have a little stampin up logo so what do you guys think of that huh pretty cool right i was wearing these at the pool <laughs> Vicksburg, yes, I remember that you talked about that. Yes, so fun sunglasses, right? Maybe I'll put those right there. It'll make me feel, yeah, Whew. okay, yeah, like I'm in. Hey, Susie, how are you doing? And then the other thing that they both got, this is awesome, is one of those mugs. So it's really pretty deep blue. Um, and then it's got the little thing on the top there. So hot and cold mug with the Stampin' Up! logo. And a pretty box too. They always have to package everything so nicely also. So that's what my kids each got, all of that, right? Just for coming with their mom. Okay, so let me show you. I feel like I wanna just flame this stuff somewhere. I guess I'm gonna move it over here. Okay, so what's next? They always put everything in cute bags too, so I'm gonna show you these fun little bags. Um, here, let's do one at a time. So super cute, and actually guys, guys, it was so funny, they kept, the guides kept calling us guys, so I'm using that word a lot like all of our tour guides. This bag is so big, you can't even, maybe I have to back up a little bit. So it says Santorini, you guys can see that, it's backwards. But Santorini really looks like that. I just couldn't get over. I thought like those pictures were like fake, like that wasn't like real grease, but it really, really is. That's what it looks like with those pretty blue accents on like the buildings, the, the domes of the churches, the doors around the windows, super duper cute. So just a fun canvas bag. They put they, they like to put our gifts in these bags too and then this one was pretty also um, kind of a little bit more of like a shopping bag but can you see we've got the grease stampin up 2019 logo on it so i can always use more bags right <laughs> i don't have many door handles left to put them on though that's i'm like decorate my whole house with bags on door handles <laughs> and then here i'll show you a couple more cute little no you know what we'll do that in a few minutes um oh Okay, I'm not even, I was gonna start the video with this on, but there's no way I could wear this. So we got a vest too, Stampin' Up! vest. It's got a fun, the little Greek Islands logo. They must have thought we were gonna be cold. This, this might have been better for Alaska, although it was hot in there too. There's no way you, maybe in the winter, you can wear that vest in Greece. Not while we were there at all. But it's cute, it's kind of fun and sporty. I like that vest a lot. Um, okay, what else, what else, what else? I'm trying to, oh, this was kind of fun. On everybody's door on the ship, they put a little welcome Greek islands sign. So you knew where Stampin' Up! demonstrators were if they kept it on their door the whole time, which we did. So that was kind of fun, you could see. Um, and that's another thing that's kind of fun too, is the ship is not just us. It's not just stamping up people on there. So there's like a whole other, you know, everybody else that just goes on a cruise and they're all like, what are these about? What, who are you guys? What are you doing? And how'd you, how'd you get on this trip? So it was fun to share that with people that we met on the cruise also. Um, okay, let's see. I'm trying to, I'm saving product for last. So I'll, I'll show you this. Um, Oh, well here, you have to see the box too, because I love, they do such a nice job with the packaging too. So the Greek Islands, cute little jewelry box, right? This was our last night, and I meant to even put this on. I wonder if I'll be able to. Um, I don't know if I, here, I'm gonna just show you. So it's a Stampin' Up! and it's got the little kind of Greek Islands. Let's see, where can I move it so you can see that little logo? And then it's got the others say, inspire, create, and share, the other little charms. So it's a fun charm bracelet. So cute, and so yeah, it's got the little Greek islands on one side and then the Stampin' Up! logo on the other. Super duper cute, I love, I love the, the jewelry. They always do such a nice job with the jewelry. Okay, now, okay, I think, 
I think it's all product left now, right? Okay, so I can't show you guys the inside. I think that's so crazy, but we can show you the outside, the front cover of the new holiday catalog, which is fabulous. You guys are gonna love so many cute, fun things in here too. Um, oh, you know what I forgot though? Here, this was another, this was the first, I think this was the first night. Love this backpack also. So I don't have anything in it, so it doesn't look quite as good, but it, um, it kind of rolls down and buttons up and then it's got the fun like kind of leather accents and I love this too of course it's got our Stampin' Up logo on it but just a cute backpack perfect size not too big but it holds enough right so I use this a lot on the cruise um, in our when we would go on our excursions okay so let me show you I'm probably not gonna open We'll, we'll save that for another time because I have so many other things to show you guys too. Um, but this is some designer series paper. Oh darn, we're gonna have to open it. I can't not do that, right? Okay, so here. I didn't bring the scissors that I normally open, but we can do this. Yeah, I gotta show you guys this. This paper is called the Twal, I think is how you say it, Twal Tidings, T-O-I-L-E, Twal, I think, I think, I think, Twal Tidings designer series paper. So I believe it is green, uh, probably like, hmm, this is gonna be garden green on one side, and looks like real red on the other side. I'm trying to get this pulled out so you guys can see. Okay, so these are the pretty patterns on the garden green side, and then, oh yeah, I can do it like that. I kind of have it. These are most of the patterns on, oops, maybe there are. I haven't really looked at this too well. There, because they, they're, they're similar. So these are kind of bears and woodsy. This is more like floral. The, I love the stripes. I always love the stripes. More of kind of a winter scene and then some check too. So very pretty, pretty paper there. Okay, I'm just gonna toss that over here. Then we have, this one is called the Come Together Designer Series Paper. So I think this is kind of the fall paper. I have honestly not even opened these things yet. We, we got, you know, usually you're like running around kind of trying to get ready for dinner when, when these gifts come and I kind of was stashing them away, you know, to make sure they stayed safe. So I have not even really had a chance to peek at these things, but okay. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, okay. So this is one side of the paper, the pretty pumpkins. Oops, I have to show you guys, because those are really, really nice, right? And then some stripes and some check and some more pumpkins and more patterns, and then, Let's see. Yeah, ooh, these are darker. So the one side was kind of lighter shades and then these are all, ooh, loud car going by, darker. Can you guys see those? Darker shades of designer series paper there too. So very, very pretty. We're gonna have some fun. I love that, the check, right? <laughs> I love that paper, that, that pattern, I guess. The stripes and the check, that's kind of me. Um, and then this is Mercury Glass Designer Acetate, it says. Okay, so let's see this one. Let me get this open here for us. So this is interesting. It's kind of um, like, yeah. Okay, I have to hold one up so you guys kind of get the idea. So you can, can you see me through it at all? You're supposed to kind of, you know, be able to see through those clear points, but isn't that really cool? So this one, it looks, oh, kind of, I don't know, almost like metallic -y or something. And then this one's a little bit more like cracked, kind of a crackled look. Isn't that cool? Sorry, I think we're getting a little bit of a glare there too. But you get, I think it's three sheets of each of those, so just two different patterns on there. Okay, let's see what else you guys wanna see. I will show you some of the fun, goodies oh but this these were really cool so i've never really thought about this but they came out with black dimensionals that kind of fun i actually had to use a few 
think I was doing a video the other day and I forgot to bring my dimensionals over and these were sitting right here. So here, maybe I'll move it that way so you can't even tell. So you can't, you can kind of see, they've got two packages of the large size dimensionals and then two packages of the minis. So I guess regular and then minis. But you can kind of see they're a little bit, they're black. So I guess if there's ever a time when you kind of could see or it was bothering you, I, I never really thought about it, but they're kind of cool, right? So black dimensionals now also. So that's kind of fun. We'll have some fun with those. And let's see, what else? But I, oh, I brought some more fun stuff over too. Embellishments, ribbon, and fun stuff here. We have, this is the Come Together ribbon pack. So this is kind of that fall. Can you guys see, cause this, so this one, is like a thin thread, kind of, I think a Cajun craze color, but this is the one that's really catching my eye. Um, and they had displays of everything. Did you guys enjoy? I tried to take pictures of all of the display boards um, so you guys could really kind of see. I had to like touch and feel a lot of the product too. Okay, this may not happen. Yeah, okay, well, I'll show you guys this as best I can, but can you see? It's kind of a crumb cake ribbon, but then it's almost got um oops sorry i got a text there i gotta scroll that out of the way kind of um crumb cake but it's almost got like a satin silky look on the edges there too so very very pretty if you can you see that you kind of get the idea beautiful i'm gonna love that ribbon and then some pretty stars these are star designer elements right and then some more stars these are called the Brightly Gleaming Foil Elements. Get a couple sheets of these. So you got some big stars and then some smaller accents that we will have fun putting on our projects this winter, fall and winter time. Okay, how about some stamp sets? You guys wanna see? The other fun thing that they did was they put so every single, it's funny because I didn't really think about this until somebody made the comment. They put these cute little tags, so with a fun clip and the ribbon, on every single one of our pillow gifts. And my kids even got them on their pillow gift too. But somebody had to tie. How many people were there? I think they said there were like 400 or 450 of us every night or every, at some point. They had to tie all those bows 450 times 7. <laughs> That's a lot of bows, isn't it? Oh my gosh, they must have used a ton of that blueberry bushel ribbon too. But so cute. They just do such a nice job with all that packaging. Okay, oh, that's what I was gonna do. They give us these cute little bags too. So they might put like a little pillow gift in. There was one Stampin' Up! logo bag and then another that had the cute little Greek aisles on it too, right? Haha, <laughs> love those domed buildings. So cute little bags, and then let me show you what was inside these things. So we had the hammered metal 3D embossing folder. This one's really cool. I was kind of like, I didn't really understand it, but it when you when you do it, especially on like our um, foil paper, you're gonna see how awesome it is. A cute little tags, tags, tags set. And I believe it's this way. These three are all on one stamp, one stamp, and one stamp, and then the die cuts all three at once. So very, very cool. My friend Sue did a really fun presentation um, at our general session. We did one general session on the cruise, kind of learned about what's going on with Stampin' Up. Um, itty Bitty Greetings, awesome stamp set. Lots of different ways to say um, Happy Christmas kind of thing. Ooh, this is really fun. The Perfectly Plaid stamp set. I'll show you guys these in more detail, you know, when we start using them, but just giving you a little flavor right now. And this one is a bundle. So stamp set and then the Christmas tree punch. Okay. Then what else? Ooh, this was this one goes with that twall paper. We have the twall Christmas stamp set right there. And then this one, the most wonderful time it, this is kind of crazy. I guess this was, somebody said it was a mistake. They gave us this stamp set, but they also gave us another product medley in this box, which is the most wonderful time product medley. So in there was another stamp set. So we have two of this most wonderful time stamp set along with other 
I can show you guys these too. So we did a couple of make and takes. I put it all in this package, but you get some, the most wonderful time dies come with that stamp set. You know what, maybe I'll just show you because these are probably prettier. These were the make and takes that we made. So you kind of get an idea of the paper. Um, there's some, oh my gosh, so much good stuff. Here, let me show you. We have <laughs> some tinsel, super cute, fun, kind of curly tinsel. And then there were some more stars also. And then this is pretty, this, this is just single sided, but some really pretty kind of with foil accents. Cards, they're almost like cards, like from um, the Memories and More kits. And then some stickers too. We haven't done this in a while. Some um, pretty stickers and we I used a few of those. Some more trees and reindeer. And then, oh, these are cute. Some tags and some candy canes. I think that's it. Oh, more reindeer. Gotta have lots of reindeer, right? And then the designer series paper. I'll kind of fan that out. So just gorgeous with kind of foil accents too on one side and then more basic, I guess I would say on the other side. So this is another, like I said, one of those um, product medleys where you get all of this, all of this great stuff in a box and then you can make all of these fabulous things um, with everything that comes in your product medley box. So, and it all coordinates so nicely together. So it's really easy to make lots of great projects just with that one kind of product medley, that bundle of products. Okay, one sec, I gotta find more room to put this. Because if I put it where I'm gonna be doing my stamping, then that's gonna be not very handy. I won't have anywhere to do my stamping. Okay, so last couple of things. I think this is all I need to show you guys. Some more um, punches we got. This is, mm, it's kind of an apple or kind of a pumpkin little builder punch. So really, really cute. And then did I get the stamp set? I don't think I did. So now I need to get the stamp set that goes with, this is like a package of punches to, um, can you see those? To ornament punches. So I think that's it. Sorry. Whew. I am hot, guys. Hopefully, you're not too hot watching me. Um, but I think that's it. So, seriously, that's it, right? We got a ton of stuff, as usual. They completely spoiled us. We, yeah, it's just, they, they do such an amazing job at saying thank you for all of our hard work as well. And I think every single one of us truly appreciates it, too. So thank you, Stampin' Up! if you're listening. Um, okay, let me check my notes, but I think we're ready to do our stamping now, ladies. Um, yeah, let's do it, huh? Okay, yeah, so turn your heads away for a sec. I am gonna move the camera down and we will get to our stamping for this week. So nice to be back and able to do this together with everybody. Okay, here we go, good. All right, let me get my grid paper and don't forget, that host code is right here. And if you put that minimum $30 online order in, I have to move that, there we go, now I can see a little bit better too. By next Wednesday, you're gonna get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a minute. And you're gonna get your name in the drawing to win that Brights six by six designer series paper. Make sure you use the host code, the U3UZ4CEU. And if you bump your order up to $50, you're gonna get your bonus day coupon and you're gonna get a free embellishment from me. So keep that in mind for shopping, for your shopping pleasure this week. Okay, so which one do I wanna do first? I did have some notes. Okay, haha. <laughs> so super duper cute stamp set. I'm gonna show you guys that first. We are gonna make a fun card. Ooh, you can kind of see that, can't you? Hmm, I have to move that over there a little bit more. The Time for Tags stamp set. So this is one of our host stamp sets that you can get for free when you put a at least a $150 order in, then you that starts host rewards. So a minimum $150 order gets 10% in host rewards. So $15 in free stuff. So you can get anything that you want out of the catalog. In the back of the catalog or online, I think it's called Stampin' Rewards, you can get the Stampin' Rewards 
um, products. So for example, the Time for Tags stamp set. That is so cute. If you can see, we've got a welcome friend, happiest birthday, something for you, hooray for you, and hello baby. And then some other little woohoo, celebrate, congrats, thanks, a to and from. I always love to have those. Happy you're here just because and with love. So super cute stamp set that of course coordinates with, and I don't have the name of this punch, but this punch. See how it coordinates, right? Perfectly, the punch and the stamp set. Um, okay, and I'm gonna show you guys the card now. So, so cute. I love the little, I'm always a, a big birdie fan. I always love the birdies, right? And then we use, this is pineapple punch cardstock and lovely lipstick. And then another quick shout out for the Dino Roar. This is some of the Dino Roar designer series paper, which you can get a half a pack of in your Dino Roar class to go if you were to order that today. Okay, so let me give you dimensions. Oh, I do have notes right here. Hmm. That's the heat, ladies. It's getting to me. <laughs> hard to think right when you're hot okay I did move that let's see let me get this situated so we're in view here right okay so our pineapple punch cardstock that measures our eight and a half by eleven we cut it along the eight and a half inch side at the four and a quarter inches and then along the eleven inch side we scored it to make our tall card at five and a half inches okay all right so there's that then we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that we are going to layer on the outside that measures three and a half by four and three quarters. Our cute Dino Roar designer series paper. See, it's got dinosaurs on one side and not on the other side. So if you're thinking, I don't know if I need the dinosaurs, you don't have to use them. This one measures two and a half. Um, let me make sure. Yep. Two and a half by three and three eighths. And then this one measures two and one quarter by three and three eighths inches, okay? And then we have these little pieces here too. This little whisper white layer measures one and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And then this one is just a tiny bit smaller at two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then that's gonna layer inside there. So you just use an eighth of an inch smaller, larger to make that uh, kind of layer there with just a little bit peeking around the edges. Okay, and then I just have some scraps to do our stamping and then to do the little die cutting there too. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I do, yeah, I was gonna say, do I need my die cutting machine? But I do. Scooch you up there. Okay, let's do the stamping. So I've got my black memento ink because I am gonna color the little birdie in with my Stampin' Blends. Okay, so nice easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up, okay? He looks good, scoot him out of the way. And I'm actually gonna just set him aside for a sec. Let him cool <laughs> a bit. Um, let's do, I wanna do this little piece here. We're gonna do our die cutting so that then I can get the big shot out of the way. So that little strip right there, I want to use. So these are the Be Mine stitched dies. And you can see it's a, these were kind of part of um, Valentine suite, I guess I would say, but we're gonna use this little baby that has those cute little kind of decorative edge there. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine. And we do have to run this through two times, okay? Because it's only so long. So I'm gonna start it on my one end, and I kind of like to have it off the end a little bit. So we're gonna run that through once, okay? You guys are quiet today, it's funny. Um, I'm used to seeing more comments. So if you have anything to say, feel free to speak right up, ladies. I love to hear from you as we are doing the live. And then I'm gonna do one more, kind of right next to that one. Oops, maybe right about there, okay? Pop that on, see those cute, I don't know, they're just like a little, kind of a decorative flower accent, I would say. And I don't know if you guys can hear, there's some construction going on um, across the way, 
And sometimes these trucks are so loud. So maybe you can hear that, maybe you can't. I certainly can, so I thought I would mention, just in case you're like, what is all that noise back there? Okay, so I think, let's see, we are gonna grab my glasses right here so that I can see what I'm doing. And I've got some blends. I've got a lovely lipstick. I'm gonna use the skinny end. This is my dark. So I'm just gonna color in that little guy right there. Okay. And then I'm gonna use, this is an old olive. And I think this is the light one because I'm using the dark one on another card at a class or at class that's down at the studio. So you could either do dark or light depending on how you wanted it to look with your old olive mm, Stampin' Blends. So we're just kind of coloring that little guy in. And then last, we are gonna color in our sweet little birdie. And this is my pool party. And because this is a little bit bigger image, I am gonna use kind of a fat tip to color my birdie in. And there we go. So we've got him all colored. Another reason why I didn't punch that out first is because it's a lot easier to color on this piece than on the tiny piece that we are gonna punch right now. So we're gonna slip this in. Can you guys see? So cute, right? And it fits perfectly. So this is a great stamp set to get that then you can use with our new punch. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's see. So I think we can go ahead and start putting things together now. Okay, so I'm gonna add some adhesive on the back of these layers. Okay. I'm gonna grab my Whisper White piece, and I wanna put my lovely lipstick piece on first because I want to layer over and show more of my Dino Roar designer series paper. So you see how that's layering over my lovely lipstick paper just a little bit. There we go, okay. Next, I am going to kind of add that right about there. So where are my, I need my, the back of my dimensionals. Normally I would have that little silicone craft sheet, but I forgot it. So I wanna just kind of put like little titches or ticks of my snail adhesive, because I wanna try not to get it in between all those little holes if I can avoid that. And I cut this long on purpose so that I could kind of layer it on where I want. And then I'm just gonna grab my scissors and kind of snip that off. So there we go with that, okay? Now we can add this, and I'm gonna put a bunch of adhesive on here because I've got a couple of layers now. And especially with our heat and humidity, we wanna make sure these cards stay together, right? So we're gonna layer that on there. And then we're just gonna add some adhesive to, this is my little pineapple punch piece that layers onto my whisper white piece. Now I want my dimensionals again. And I'm gonna pop a few of these on here. And then I'm actually gonna put a couple on the back of that one too. Okay, so we're just gonna peel the backs off of these dimensionals. So such a fun, cute, bright card. I'm looking at the other while I'm peeling those dimensionals. You can see all the fun that you could have, right, with this stamp set. Um, I just, I love the fun, bright colors. This, for me, seems like it lends itself to fun, bright colors. The look of the stamp set. So I'm just gonna kinda put that off on the corner there a little bit. I am going to I just took the dimensionals off that guy. We're gonna put those, or that little guy right about there. And then I thought, oh, it just needs a little something else. So I grabbed, um, I have a couple packs of these, the Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots. And I'm just gonna peel off a couple of these dots and just kinda put them in the corner. And that is it. So just a fun, simple, cute, something for you. You could use this for lots of different occasions, right? But I love, like I said, how that um, punch coordinates with all of the little, the cute little tags there in that stamp set. 
Okay. And do you guys know too, um, sometimes I, I realize people don't know this, that um, the host benefits when you put your um, order in as a customer and even as a demonstrator, demonstrators get host rewards on their orders also. So that's never a reason to not get the starter kit because if you put a $150 order in as a demonstrator, you're gonna get 20% off of your order and you're gonna get full host benefits. So put a $150 order in, get your host benefits or $15 in free stuff, and then they take 20% off of your order after that. So all of those like host rewards are calculated based on full product value, not on you know after your discount product value, if that makes sense, hopefully it does. Okay, so let me scoot this one out of the way. I have to keep these organized, ladies, because I have to take them back to class, so. <laughs> okay, now the next one. Are we good? We're still clean and in view here. So product of the week this week. Did you guys see? It's funny because this was a swap card that I saw on display on the cruise, and I absolutely loved it. So of course I took a picture of it and shared it with you guys, and then I was like, you know what? We have to make this card because I love how it uses our product of the week in that frame, right? So let me show you those products in case you missed out on those. Let's see, let me kind of get everything out here so we have what we need. And, oh, perfect. So I thought I brought them, but I didn't. That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna have to show you in the catalog. Oh, big bummer. I wanna say big fat bummer is what I really wanna say. I can't believe I did that. Um, hold on one sec. I'm gonna go see if they're in my craft room. I will be right back. One sec, one sec. Okay, well, I'm not gonna fully be able to demonstrate this, but I will show you what I do have. And I do, I'll show you in the catalog too. If you missed it on uh, Facebook Live this week. So it's the Woven Heirlooms, and it's not too far in. You guys, are you loving the index here too? That's gonna help me. Yeah, I don't feel like looking, because it's right here. <laughs> the Woven Threads Suite, right? Beautiful suite of products. And what I forgot, I'm crazy right now, are the woven or the heirloom frames, dies, and embossing folders. And maybe they're bigger. We're gonna flip to page 197. I can't believe I did that. So they're right near my die cutting machine down at the studio, which is not helpful for us at all right now. But here, you can see them a little bit better. So what I would normally be doing on this Facebook Live to show you is I would be embossing, actually I would die cut. So there's that rectangle piece. I would die cut first and then I would layer it carefully inside of that embossing folder and do my embossing to get this effect right here. But it's that simple. Basically this piece right here, I die cut the rectangle and then I emboss it and it makes that frame. This piece right here, the inside pops right out. You have a great rectangle piece you can use for something else later. But we'll do what we can. We're just not gonna be able to do all of it because I wanna show you a couple of other fun features of this card. Okay, so, oh, and then the, the stamp set. I love the woven heirloom stamp set too. So we've got thinking of you, I love you, thank you so much, wishing you a day of love and joy and prayers and heartfelt sympathy are with you and your family. Great, great sentiment there. Plus I love all of those little detail pieces too. Okay, so let's see. Scooting everything around <laughs> a million times. All right, so I've got my terracotta tile card base. Okay, so my eight and a half by 11 cardstock, right? We cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches, and then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches for a nice crisp fold, as always, on our card. Okay, I'm gonna set that baby right there. Then I have a piece of the Woven Threads Designer Series paper, beautiful paper. This paper measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. Then this piece that we use to make the frame 
terracotta tile, three and one quarter by four and one quarter. And then this piece that we're gonna stamp our thinking of you on, this is Pretty Peacock cardstock that measures two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay, so let's add, no, not add yet. I wanted to use, so where's my stamp set? This little kind of accent, I loved. She just kind of stamped, and, and I don't know who, who I'm casing this from. When they put the um, swaps up on the display boards, if I don't actually receive this swap, um, you can't see on the back of them. So I'm gonna stamp that off just a little bit and then stamp it on here. Does that make sense? Like they're on the boards, they're like tacked up on the boards, so you can't be like pulling them off to see who made them. So I'm just gonna kinda weather just a little bit in the corners. I love how she did that, just a tiny bit. And I'm just stamping off because I don't, it was too dark otherwise. Um, you see how dark that's getting on that little scrap piece. So just there, just a little bit of weathering in the corners. But I love, if you know who made this card, and it's actually really similar to um, a card that is in the catalog too. I realized that after I saw her picture and then I looked in the catalog again and I was like, oh, she kind of cased it from the catalog too. So I guess I could say I'm kind of casing it from the catalog also. <laughs> So many great places to get ideas from. That's the idea anyway. Okay, so there is that right there. Now, let's see. So like I said, normally I would cut that frame and put that on there and then this is the part that's gonna peek out from behind it. And it's funny, I was trying to decide, do I do the embossing? And I haven't done embossing. Hey, Mary Ann, how are you doing? I have not done embossing in so long and so I thought, you know what, I've got to, I'm gonna do it in class because we haven't done it in so long. It's usually something I do like around holiday time, but I'm also gonna demonstrate it. At first I thought maybe I'll just have that done for you guys, but if you haven't done embossing in a while, maybe you need a quick little refresher or maybe you've never done it before. So I like to start with my little embossing buddy and this, you just kind of rub all over your cardstock and it helps basically to not allow your embossing powder to stick on your paper anywhere other than where you want it to stick. So I've got my Versamark ink. Sorry, somehow I got some black ink in there. It's not really supposed to look like that, but it still works just fine. Okay, so this is a really squishy ink pad, so you don't want to press too hard on your Versamark, or you're going to get that ring around the rubber. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to press firmly to make sure I'm getting all the ink off. And you can just, it's like a watermark. Right, you can just barely see that. Then I am gonna scoot my ink pad out of the way and I've got my white embossing powder and I just use these little, I don't know, Tupperware containers, a Ziploc or something I think it says. I find this to be the easiest way. So just sprinkle a little bit of embossing powder and then I can just tap it right off and it doesn't go everywhere, it kind of can stay contained and every once in a while you get a little I bet I didn't run my embossing buddy quite right. Just wipe off if you get a little bit of excess there. Okay, we're gonna scoot that out of the way. Then I'm gonna grab my heat tool and heat myself up even more than I already am right now. Now this might take a little bit longer than it would if it had been warmed up. Um, but let's see, can you guys kind of, I'm gonna try to, so thin it's a little bit hard I can see it it just happened it's like it's almost powdery and then all of a sudden when it gets heated it kind of crystallizes and becomes a little bit more glossy there I didn't kind of see it just happened on the big tea so that's it basically that's all you're gonna do for your embossing right so like I said this piece pretend it's a frame is gonna go behind there and peek just like that one, right? Okay, so last step is to add some pretty pretties to it. So I wanna show you guys, cause this, I loved how they did that ribbon right there too. So I've got my pretty peacock scalloped linen ribbon. Hey, Amy Jo, how are you doing? And I'm just gonna snip that off. Then with the ribbon that we're gonna give away next week on Facebook Live, the Very Vanilla, scalloped lace trim. I just want a little strip of that, okay? And then I'm gonna grab my linen thread and we're just gonna tie a bow around both of these pieces. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to, so if you kind of pull on that, it makes it not quite so curly Q. Okay. All right, so I kind of folded this in half, but I also kind of flipped it because I want you to see the green on both sides, okay? Then we're gonna add that piece in there. And then I found it was easiest if I kind of laid this down on the table and then I tied a bow. So if you guys can kind of see what we're doing here. The hardest part is that first little tie. It's not really hard, but you know, you don't want stuff falling all over the place. So just keep your finger down on the ribbon to kind of hold everything in place. I will say that was the easiest way. And I pulled that a little too far. <laughs> And my bow came undone. Okay, so let's do, it's funny, they're kind of on the wrong side for me there. Let's try this, okay? Make a little bit smaller bow so I don't pull the tail through again. I might have just done that again. Okay, the heat is seriously getting to me. Yeah, well, you get the idea, right? Tie that little bow around there, okay? Yep, too long. Okay, pretend. There we go. There's my beautiful bow, right? Can you see that? It looks even better on that one. And then I just used some glue dots to kind of tack that down right on there. The last thing that I did was add one of our uh, in color faceted dots or gems. They are called, let's see, what are they called? In color faceted dots. You can see they come in our pretty peacock. Purple Posy, Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, and Terracotta Tile. So beautiful little faceted dots. And just added a little bit of bling right there too. So, okay, so sorry guys that I forgot that, but you get the idea, right? It's pretty simple, but I love the embossing folder and it's a combo thing. You get the embossing folders and the dies. It all comes together, which is different. We haven't done that before. So in the rectangle and in the ovals also. So, okay, I think that is it for today thank you so much for hanging with me as usual i'll do the quick recap just to remind you about putting your order in especially if you want to get all the products that are on this card or maybe the products used on this card as well then you can get that fun time for tags host stamp um, as a freebie with your um if you put at least a 150 dollar order in Okay, make sure you use the host code, the 3CUZ4CEU. You are gonna get these two projects that I demonstrated. Your name is entered into the drawing to win wherever that designer series paper is, the six by six Brights DSP, and bump your order up to $50 and you're gonna get a free embellishment from me. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm so happy to be back and um, I can't wait to share with you guys next week so come hang out with me next friday as well and hopefully it won't be quite as hot next week either okay have a great weekend stay cool everybody and we'll talk to you soon bye